Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, Dr. Natural Medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In this video, I'll be training on how to boost your metabolism naturally in three really easy and simple steps. And I'll tell you, so many people today struggle with metabolism issues and it can cause weight gain, thyroid issues, adrenal issues, actually just even decreased brain, uh, brain health and function. So on this video, I'll talk about the best essential oils and diet and things like that that can really help you bolster and boost your metabolism naturally. All right, so first off, let's talk about what, what metabolism actually means. I think there's a lot of misconceptions there as well. And when we say boost metabolism, it's not that your metabolism gets stronger, it's that it really is able to um, focus in areas that we want it to focus. Now, your metabolism is really chemical interactions taking place that really keep your body alive. It's a process of your body converting calories into usable energy. Also, here's some things to know about metabolism. Number one, your brain, uh, the energy demands are 16 times higher for your brain than your actually skeletal muscle. Metabolism is involved in every system of the body, not just burning up belly fat. Also, strong metabolism equals a strong immune system, and overall longer longevity and health. And listen, here's something that happens over time. When you first hit 25, that's when your metabolism starts going down slowly. When you hit 40, it can take an even more dramatic decrease there as well. So those times of 25, you'll see the first initial decline, 40 again of your metabolism. Let's talk about signs you need a metabolic boost for your body. Ongoing fatigue, if you're chronically tired, that's a big warning sign. Frequently feeling cold. If you feel cold internally, always need blankets, that's a big warning sign. We gotta get that, uh, you need a me metabolic boost. Thinning hair, okay? Cracked and dry skin, low libido, irregular periods, slow growing brittle fingernails, constipation and slow moving bowels, weight loss resistance, that means you've tried to lose weight and that weight is not coming off, brain fog, and of course, many other conditions here as well we're gonna talk about. Number one, let's talk about not dieting and what to do instead in terms of the best overall, overall food plan when it comes to boosting your metabolism. Number one, you gotta stop counting calories. You know, this is the worst way both to lose weight, in my opinion, but number one, to have a healthy metabolism, okay? You really, rather than counting calories, you wanna count nutrients. You wanna really eat a diet that's high in nutrients. Calories aren't the only thing that matter, because here's the deal. A calorie of high fructose corn syrup is not the same type of calorie uh, you're, that you're gonna find in the sugar and blueberries. They're very different foods still. Calories really don't tell the whole picture. Number two, here's the diet I would try or the food plan. Try a diet that's more ketogenic, carb cycling or low carb in nature. Now I've worked with thousands of patients and really seen the keto diet or ketogenic diet can really be a kickstart into somebody getting their metabolism where it needs to be. Now one of my favorite diets is doing sort of a keto cycling or carb cycling where maybe you alternate days. One day you really do almost no to low carb, like almost like a keto, and the next day you add some carbs back in and really looking at it that way. But that keto carb cycling can be very beneficial when it comes to both losing weight, boosting metabolism, supporting thyroid health in a major way. And I can tell you, even my, my own wife, uh, she does carb cycling on a regular basis, and she noticed when she started doing it, her hormones completely balanced out. Uh, so again, if you're a person as well with really severe menstrual cycle pain, uh, things like that, PMS, that can be another warning sign that insulin is off. That can cause major metabolism issues. So again, keto and carb cycling is a great thing to naturally do there. Um, avoid metabolism killers. Listen, fried foods, white flour products, wheat products, uh, all of those sugar, all of those things are metabolism killers. So listen, in terms of your diet, you wanna be eating a lot of vegetables, a lot of bone broth, a lot of, uh, you know, um, wild organic meat products, some berries, uh, some nuts and seeds, and that really should be what your diet is made up of. Again, so wild meat, bone broth, vegetables, berries, nuts and seeds, and then lots of herbs, okay? That really should be your diet on a daily basis. And then of course, things like coconut and avocados are great too, but that should make up your diet. Everything else should be avoided. It's not benefiting your metabolism. Now, I'll, let me mention this. A small amount of whole grains, if you're doing a, a straight oatmeal, wild, you know, uh, a, a rice, 
or quinoa, those three grains and a few others, hey, you might do fine. Listen, those aren't helping or hurting your metabolism. They're kind of keeping you somewhere in the middle. Or again, if you're following a really clean diet, then they could be slightly beneficial. But in general, the other foods I mentioned earlier are more beneficial, especially the, the bone broth and the vegetables and the wild meats. Now, try essential oils. Essential oils can support your metabolism. One of my favorite essential oils is grapefruit oil. Simply adding one to two drops a day to water. Now, you wanna make sure you're buying a high quality oil. Look for one that's certified organic and that really follow, follows his indigenous farming uh, practices. But again, grapefruit oil is great. Warming oils like ginger are fantastic for your metabolism. Also promote a healthy, dige uh, healthy digestive system. And then oils, uh, you know, lemon is good. Peppermint can be good there as well. Uh, black pepper oil. But again, those are some of the best essential oils that can really support metabolic function in the body. All right, let's talk about exercising the right way. Listen, burst training is the number one type of exercise you can do to help you burn fat and lose weight. Sometimes it's referred to as HIIT, high intensity interval training, or Tabata is another name that's associated with this as well. But burst training is where you're gonna exercise like a sprinter rather than a marathon runner. So you might get on a spin bike and go really hard for 30 seconds and then really easy for 30 seconds, but you're exercising in intense intervals and then really relax intervals there as well. You can do this on an elliptical. Again, you go really hard for 30 seconds or a minute, then really easy for 30 seconds or a minute. That's doing it that way. And you, it's actually, there are studies showing that you can burn three times as much body fat burst training compared to regular cardio. So listen, if you want to save time, if you want to get better results, you will get better results doing intervals on a spin bike rather than going one steady pace the entire time. Again, burst training incredible for supporting the metabolism. And number two, just move more, okay? If you're like, well, I don't wanna do burst training, even though, again, it's by far the most effective way, just moving, whether it's running, weightlifting, doing a class like bar or Pilates, all of those classes in general and types of movements are going to help, help support your metabolism there as well. Number three, now listen, this is probably the most overlooked area of metabolism, but it's improving your sleep. And did you know there has been several clinical studies that have shown if you don't get enough sleep, it affects insulin, melatonin, and cortisol levels. Those hormones are all crucial to weight loss. It affects all those hormones, which will actually cause you to store body fat and gain more weight if you're not getting enough sleep or enough quality sleep there at night. So here's some things you need to know here that can help your sleep. Number one, you can take uh, certain types of herbs that are sleep regulators, okay? Some of my favorite food, uh, sleep regulators can be, you know, doing uh, like a chamomile tea is very, very good that can really support the body. Um, and I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna kind of mix the oils here. CBD oil, that's a type that comes from cannabis, but CBD absolutely supports sleep. Lavender is another one, doing lavender essential oil there. And then magnesium, doing a magnesium oil. So you can make a natural oil blend or you mix a little bit of chamomile, lavender, typically just one to two drops, that's the clinical dose, along with some CBD oil, and the sleep benefits are tremendous. Also taking a magnesium supplement, 300 to 500 milligrams a day, you do that, that's definitely gonna help sleep. And in terms of food, do not consume carbs before bed. Sugar and grains before bed, any type of carbs will affect your sleep. You wanna do more healthy fats before you go to sleep. Things like avocados are great, coconut, a little bit of olive oil. But you know, consuming a meal that's like a, you know, a big salad with oil and, and fresh salmon, grass-fed beef with sauteed spinach, but again, protein and fat before bed, not a lot of carbs will help there as well. And here's a sleep serum formula as well. You can do topically on your skin, okay? This is topical. Mix two drops of Roman chamomile, two drops of lavender essential oil, two drops of ylang ylang, and a little bit of coconut oil together. Rub it on your body. You really wanna rub it on your neck and your temples, even a little bit right below your nose there and do that about 30 minutes before bed. It absolutely will help you get a better night's sleep. Another thing I love recommending to my patients is having them do a healing bath at night. This will really help you wind down and get a better night's sleep. Here's what you're gonna do. Get a warm bath before you go to bed. You're gonna soak in a hot tub for 20 minutes. You're gonna add in one cup of Epsom salt. Now, Epsom salts are loaded with the 
relax and relaxation mineral known as magnesium. So again, one cup of Epsom salts, it's, it's very inexpensive to buy those, as well as maybe 20 drops of an essential oil like lavender. So 20 drops of lavender oil, one cup of Epsom salts, soak in the bath three nights a week for 20 minutes. And I'm telling you, the, the benefits of that for your sleep are absolutely tremendous there as well. So remember, in order to Heal your metabolism. Here's what you got to do. And by the way, you will see results really fast if you follow these tips. Stop counting calories. Try a keto diet, carb cycling or low carb diet. Avoid metabolism killers such as sugar and white flour products and hydrogenated oils. Try essential oils. Do burst training or at the very least get out and move on a regular basis. Remember, use some of those sleep regulators like magnesium oil we talked about, lavender oil, and remember the foods avocados, wild organic meats, bone broth, by the way, one of the best foods ever for supporting your sleep patterns. You follow these tips, you're going to get a better night's sleep. And more than that, you're going to see improvements in your metabolism, your fat loss, and all of these things. And hey, don't forget to subscribe here to my YouTube channel. I've got a lot more videos coming out on how to burn fat, boost your metabolism, and also talk a lot, I'll talk a lot more about essential oils, herbal extracts, and how to use food as medicine. And hey, if you wanna learn more, maybe you've got a condition, maybe you do wanna learn how to lose weight or support your thyroid health, just Google or YouTube my name online, just search on YouTube right now, Dr. Axe Weight Loss, or Google Dr. Axe Weight Loss, or no matter what your condition is, whether it's Hashimoto's thyroiditis or psoriasis, just search my name along with that, and I've got videos and articles on all of these topics, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy these tips on how to naturally boost your metabolism. Hi, Dr. Axe here. I want to say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.